Over a two-day period a fortnight ago, almost 21,000 people tested COVID positive. We now know that somewhere in England, one of those people who tested themselves at home had caught a worrying variant of coronavirus the authorities have been trying to keep out of the UK. But now there is a frantic search because that person can't be traced. In fact, they don't even know they're positive, as contact details were missing when they sent in their test. So today, an urgent appeal for anyone tested on February the 12th or 13th who hasn't yet had their result to ring 119 straight away. The uh, testing and investigation team uh, will work obviously with the postal service and look at other uh, uh, data points to see if we can locate them because we want to track that person as soon as possible. As well as the unknown person, five more cases of the P1 variant have been imported from Brazil. Three people came via Paris and Heathrow to Aberdeen at the end of January and self-isolated on arrival. One person returned to their home near Bristol via Zurich and Heathrow on February the 10th and the fifth confirmed case is a member of their household. The traveller arriving in South Gloucestershire isolated at home as they arrived five days before England's hotel quarantine policy began. Surge testing is now underway with the risk to the community described as low. Just doing our bit, yeah, not concerned. I think it's the safest thing to do anyway, to try and keep, keep on top of it, you know. It is concerning. Um, children are going back to school next week. I think perhaps more could have been done to keep it out of the country. Passengers on the flights into Heathrow and on to Aberdeen are also being traced. Labour has long called for stricter rules on international travel and says this proves why. We can't afford the sorts of delays that we've had in the stronger border measures that we need when dealing with new variants. But I think it also shows the government really should be reviewing their border testing and quarantine system. But the Prime Minister, visiting a school today, insists the border measures are tough enough. Listen to what Public Health England are also saying. They, they don't think that, that there is a threat uh, to the wider public, but obviously we are continuing to do everything we can uh, to stop variants coming in at our borders. That's why we've got a tough regime. It is likely there are more cases of this Brazilian variant that we don't know about. But following the familiar rules that stop the infection spreading should also prevent this mutation gaining a foothold here. Catherine Jones, Five News.